We are out here. Has anybody else tweeted chat? Put me on game. Let me see. What are we looking at right now? They're probably going to go till Tuesday. Man, I'm over like this whole little process. Grant's taking a second. What's Milagro doing? She probably eating. You know what I mean? Beautiful black queen. You know what I mean? Hopefully she can get a good lunch. Um, I'll post this though. So Meek Mill, uh, Meek Mill has now identified. Apparently, if you don't know, remember that judge who was not fucking with Meek at all. I mean, just Google Meek Mill judge. So Meek Mill Judge, uh, two days ago, remember her? I used to show her all, all the time on the screen. Allow ads. What the fuck? Nigga, we're not allowing no fucking ads on this bitch. Are you dumb? Hold on, let me just go to Internet Explorer real quick. Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, whatever the fuck that is. All right, here we go, chat. Um, her name is Judge Janice Brinkley. One second. Right here. Bang. So this is Judge Janice Brinkley. I don't know if y'all remember her, but um, she's the one who jailed Meek Mill, and she was not letting him out, right? Um, the highly unusual move. So basically, the Philly judge who jailed Meek Mill has had all her criminal cases reassigned, kicking off a legal battle. The highly unusual move is the latest chapter in a months-long conflict between Janice Brinkley Brinkley and the city's judicial leadership. Remember, she was always going to be in this position. Remember when Meek started getting cool with, like, all the white people, right? We all know Meek and Bunny Hop and doing all that type of shit now, and I'm not judging him for it. But, you know, Meek got cool with, like, even the governor of Philly. Not governor of Philly, but governor of Pennsylvania. And pretty much, you know, like, a lot of high-profile people, like, you know, in Philadelphia was super cool with Meek. And, um... They were all writing letters, showing up, saying, hey, you should let Meek out. Like, this is bullshit. This judge, and really, here's the thing. Apparently, it's because Meek dissed her in music and other things. Meek was saying, fuck the judge, this enter. She was holding on to, to these things personally, would not let him out, okay? Um, now we get to find out. Hold on, what the fuck is this? Sign up for free? I'm not interested. Stop playing. Um, now, let's read this. A Philly judge who once sparked controversy by jailing rapper Meek Mill for probation violation has been transferred to civil court and all of her pending criminal cases have been reassigned. A highly unusual move that the judges call unlawful as she attempts to have it reversed. Basically, they're fucking doing what they did to that 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 DA, uh, that DA detective in Tory's case. You're getting downgraded. The unfolding legal battle is the latest chapter in a months-long conflict between common pleas court J Judge Janice Brinkley, that's her name, and judicial leadership, a few that began in part over questions about whether she was showing up to court on time, damn, the judge not showing up on time, or managing her caseload effectively. Since her assignment, judge, lawyers and judges who have reviewed dozens of her cases have discovered a history of her appearing um, to impose illegal sentences, allowing sentences to run past her maximum date, or failing to swiftly address cases remanded to her by higher courts. This summer, Brinkley, who is black, filed a gender and racial discrimination against uh, two supervising judges on the court, both of whom were black women. And earlier this month, she turned to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court see seeking to remember. Allegedly, Meek Mill said he had like recordings of that judge saying, hey, if if you did some weird shit like I'll you know, what I mean, remember. But, but apparently when the cops came in and they asked for Meek to wear a wire, Meek wouldn't wear a wire. Um, and earlier this month, she turned to blah, 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 uh, to, to re, uh, saying the petition raises unwarranted suspicions about her integrity and performance. They have been stunned by a dispute, which represents more than just a messy fight between elected officials. Judges hold a unique position in criminal. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. At least one stake, uh, prominent stakeholder supported Brinkley's reassignment. Keisha Hudson, the chief defender of, uh, chief of the Defender Association of Philadelphia, Seems like that's a black woman. So another black woman is supporting it, which means, you know, she's done. She was very encouraged that judge, judges and leadership were working to address complaints about Brinkley that lawyers in her office have been voicing for years. We have raised long concerns about Brinkley 
concerns in terms of judicial temper and blah blah. Um, I'll stop here, but it's clear to me that um, Judge Brinkley probably should have known that there was a target on her back, and if she was doing things that was either unethical or illegal, whether it's granting, you know, uh, um, sentencing people to things that, you know, was illegal or not using um, what what's usually said to be discretion, it was always going to come out. I think the whole thing with Meek, no matter what you might think of Meek, I think at a point it felt like she didn't fuck with him, okay? We got to realize she had some type of association with a former person who used to manage Meek or whatever the case is, and people thought there might be some biasness. And also, apparently, you know, Meek had made some accusations of her. Apparently, I think he, either the feds or some, like, internal investigative group wanted Meek to wear a wire to kind of capture, like, his conversations with her, and Meek declined. Now she has been turned into a civil court judge, which obviously is a downgrade. If you were doing criminal cases, now you're a civil court judge. You know, obviously they're kind of reprimanding you in some way. So we'll see what happens. Um, this is her right here. I'm wondering why she would possibly do all these things, but who knows, right? What You know, but by, by the way, just to be fair to her, I would imagine whatever she's saying is that, it's probably politics as usual, right? So not only is she black, she feel like she probably get unfair, unfairly, you know, I mean, um, represented, but she probably thinks that because she, um, it's probably politics in terms of some of these people coming at her. So it is what it is. Okay. All right, people. All right, all right. Trust me. I am trying to get y'all some content before, you know, we essentially have about, what, 30, two and a half hours, maybe three. I say two and a half hours for negotiation and all those things of the sort. Let me see if I could join this thing right here. Thank you guys for tuning in each and every day. I listen. I'm exhausted. I know y'all exhausted. I want to hear the hear exactly what's going on. What the fuck? And why can't I join this thing? Grand Wizard, send me another link, please. For whatever reason, won't let me join this bitch. So I said, check the DM. I am here. I'm checking the DM. I'm checking the DM from everybody. Who's DMing me? Please, if you can, somebody says check finesse two times IG. What, what is he posting? I'll check it real quick. Finesse two times Instagram. This is finesse two times Instagram. Give me a second. I'll put it on the screen. So this is a story. Oh shit! Yeah, I can't see it. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I got it. This is right here. 